Right. Shalom. Kalalal. Yahweh. Bashim. Yahweh. Shai. Brachat the Yahweh. Brachat the Yahweh. Shai. Brachat the Yahweh. Brachat the Yahweh. Shai. Brachat the Yahweh. Brachat the Yahweh. Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing his truth and sincerity with the label of love. This is Shemak GMS Joplin and this is a quick lesson um, pertaining to uh, reincarnation and um, a lot of scriptures that the Akim out there have heard of but um, have really touched about it in um, my channel. So, you know, through the spirit when I get, you know, you brothers to understand and some, some other people out there that's uh, the Israelites is trying to get uh, uh, some understanding on this, but you know, a few uh, scriptures that you might have heard and uh, haven't. The one thing is that um, you know this thing is the, uh, is 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 um, with the labor of love with faith. Everything we believe in the Bible, you know, we believe out of faith. We don't know you know any of these people. You know, the the scriptures were written thousands of years ago. So and and you know we don't we're not we're told not to partake in genealogy where it goes to examining our roots and seeing if we're you know so called Gad or 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 Reuben or or Judah we just go by faith based on the prophecies right so these are some scriptures and uh, you know just to, uh, for edification purposes let's start with Revelation chapter thirteen verse uh, nine it says here if any man have an ear let him hear and basically, that's rhetorical because the fact that we know that we have ears, but this is just spe specifying that spiritually, if you can if you can comprehend something spiritually and you can listen to the word with a good heart, and Yahweh uh, Shimei Yahweh Shai knows your heart anyway, then um, then you to take heed to these words. All right, and uh, verse ten: He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now we go out there and we and and we put videos up and we, you know, tell you know the heathens and and other people and even Akim out there that hey, you know, payback is something that Yahweh Shem Yahusha is, is with, all right. And the people that is going to get payback, you know, uh, not only will be the two thirds of Israel, but will also be the heathens, the people that had a hand in um, our captivity. You know, in laughing and in in actual um, imprisonment and um, captivity, raping and, and and pillaging of of the Israelites, where it goes from the Native American, so-called Native American, to the uh, Negroes out of Africa, and um, and so on and so forth, and the and the West Indians. So by this, we understand that 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 what keeps us and motivates us not only that um, you know we if if it wasn't for the curses and it wasn't for the captivity, we wouldn't be in this certain state that our people are in right now. Mentally, you know, we're, we're defeated also, um, you know, with the curses and whatnot. So a lot of things go with that defeated mind state. You know, if you ever had a team, to put it in basketball terms or, or sports terms, if they're defeated and they're going in a rut, they can't perform to the highest level because they have a defeated attitude. They've been beat, they've been, you know, kicked. Let's say the reporters have gone down, you know, and so that's our society. A society we look at as the lowest, the lowest. We look at, you know, last hired, first, uh, uh, last hired, first fired. The people that are, you know, lazy or people that you, you have a president right now that talks worse about Issachar saying that, you know, Me Mexico sends their worse rapists or whatnot. That type of um, narrative is, 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 is given all across the world. Matter of fact, it's a narrative that got him elected. You know, so-called, because you know, dur uh, based on that, he was able to say, "Well, let's we'll go build walls and keep um, this America safe um, from these people that uh, uh, of the worst that that come in here illegally and so on and so forth." All right. So the thing about it is that we we depend on the idea that faith that um, that Yahweh Shimei Yahusha is going to come and have uh, and give us. Um, uh, uh, get, 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 we can recompense um, payback on those people, all right? And uh, yes, there are people right now that hold us back based on that narrative and based on the idea that um, you know they're racist and they 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 look down upon us based on the curses and um, also with the scriptures say with Jacob and Esau and the other nations. But there's also the fact that they are other uh, people that were here before. So the people that held us in captivity back in, you know, the 15, 1600s are right of the same people that are alive today. 
All right. So a real good uh, part in the scripture here, it says here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right. Now, this is the patience of the faith of the saints. That word faith is described in Hebrews 11. It's described all over the Bible. But one good um, scripture right there is that Hebrews 11 and 1. And it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 2, for by it the elders obtained a good report. All right. And the thing about that is that I we always go by the uh, King James Version, but the New International Version is something that pops up whenever you're looking online or something. So um, I'm just going to read what it says here uh, on the NIV. It says, basically, now faith is confidence in what we hope for. So we have confidence through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. So, yeah, we believe in things that we can't see. All right. But we still have confidence in it because what well, it's it's hope. It's something that that. Uh, keeps us motivated, keeps us strong, keeps us believing, um, and keeps us uh, going in this faith, all right, in this, in the truth, all right, instead of, uh, you know, falling by the wayside and uh, giving up on this and saying, you know what, where is he at, is he, he's supposed to have been come back, so what's going on, I heard about angels, so-called UFOs, whatever, well, where they be at? Oh, certain people be, you know, having uh, uh, instances where they see this and, you know, where's my encounter? Where's, where do I see angels at? What not? Instead, we don't, most of the time, I mean, majority of the time, if it's not for visions or dreams, then the scripture says more and more in the last days we'll have those things, you know, and, um, uh, but, you know, we don't have those uh, encounters, you know, typically. So we're just going off of pure uh, hope. All right. And uh, and belief, but it's spiritual. All right. So it says here that the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. I like this. It says verse two. This is what the ancients were commended for. All right. The ancients meaning that the, the saints, the, the prophets um, and disciples of the uh, in ancient times, they, um you know, they were commended for. That means that they were praised for that. Most houses like, hey, you know, good job, you know. Blessed is, I believe the scripture paraphrase, uh, um, uh, Yahweh Shah told Peter, he said, Blessed for you who um, uh, flesh and blood has not um, revealed this unto you, but the spirit of the Most High revealed it to you. All right? And so it was something that that, uh, that the Most High revealed to, spirit, to, to Peter. It's nothing that anybody else had taught him. Right? So that type of thing, you know, uh, the ancients and the... Um, the, the people that followed the Most High and uh, uh, disciples and whatnot, they got commended for. So I like that the way it says that, but the, the, the uh, KJV is what we use. It says, for by, for by the elders obtained a good report. All right? So by faith is what we believe in reincarnation. The fact that, you know, yeah, we, we have oppression right now, but we don't have um, the, the people that got to get theirs that were here that you know, died racist, you know, 80, 90 years old. We have um, the uh, one of the Rothschilds, you know, or Rockefellers, I believe, died uh, a couple weeks ago, a week or so ago, you know. And so we're like, you know, if, if you didn't believe in that, you didn't have faith, you would just think, well, another racist died, okay. And we know he's a racist by their family, by their uh, principles that his family has had and whatnot. And, um, you know, by putting down the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. And we would think that, well, here here goes another, you know, racist dies and doesn't get their just due. But based on the scriptures, we believe in it. We have faith, all right? And so, 